As you know, I am a professional. Do not attempt to copy anything you see me doing within this video. Do not handle wildlife, especially a black widow spider. If you choose to do so, I am not liable for anything that happens to you. Today, I'm going to be releasing, well, a little over a hundred black widows in their mother's honeymoon suite. Please let me assure you, I'm not nearly as reckless as it might seem. Of course, latrotoxin is extremely potent. You know, 10 to 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. How y'all doing? I'm Chris Ignato. You're watching Nature Here and Now, and you're going to watch me possibly waste my time. I'm going to check on that spot that I released the Black Widows last year and see if I could find any of their webs or any of the spiders themselves. I'm really hoping at least some of them made the winter. Okay, so over my shoulder, over yonder happens to be where I done released them black widows last year but uh yeah that's where I released them right over there so fingers crossed that we'll find something I just want to see if they if any of them made it at least in that area So I'm probably picking up some uh, ticks right now. It's okay. Okay, so right over here is what appears to be a black widow web. You can easily identify them because they have debris hanging in them. And uh, it's right where I released them. You know, 100 black widows last year. Definitely check out the video. I'll throw the link up. Um, click on it and you'll see the video. Definitely Black Widow, uh, Northern Widow, exactly where I released them last year. I released a hundred Black Widows by hand, although they were all, you know, babies. You know, they were pretty small. I'm so excited right now. I feel like I'm seeing one of my kids after graduating school. See all this debris hanging out in the web? Strong silk, that's Black Widow. Even though it looks a bit like a carpet, uh, this is Black Widow. And I can see where the burrow, you know, where it would be, where she'd be sleeping. So uh, I want to find another one, hopefully. Okay, looking there, you can kind of see that that's probably where her tunnel is. And she's probably formed a bit of a burrow within those leaves. That's usually what they do is they kind of, you know, glue some leaves together with their silk. And that's their retreat. Okay, so I think I found another one right over here. Um, and possibly a third, but I want to try to approach it. Hopefully the spider will be out, but they're not always, they're not usually out at this time of day. but I believe that might be an extension of this one's web. That's awfully close. I don't know, that might be a fourth. So one, two, three, four. So here's another one. That's six, or at least five. See how strong they are? Okay, look how strong the black widow webs are. Their silk is so strong. Okay, very characteristic. That's why you see the debris in them. Often black widows are actually kind of good housekeepers when they're done feeding on their food. Hold on. Okay, what I was trying to say before all those off-roaders came through with the music, um, you know, if I had an off-road vehicle, I'd want to find someplace I can use it as long as I don't destroy habitat. However, what I was trying to say was, um, you know, black widows make very strong silk, right? And their webs become very distinctive. One, because they have that, what's actually known as a cobweb design. It's not the orb or the carpet webs or the bells or anything like that. It's a cobweb design. So that in itself is distinctive, but you always find debris hanging in them because the silk is so strong. 
you know, catkins, pine needles, they fall, they land in the web, and the spider often leaves it there, and it stays there throughout the, the whole season. That being said, black widows are actually good housekeepers. Uh, when they get a food item, they'll consume it, sometimes over a course of a few days, if it's big enough. But when they're done eating it, they'll actually cut it with their fangs. They'll cut it, remove it from the web, and toss it outside the web. So their web is always clean, um, but in this case, there's debris in it. If you find a black widow in its web, you know, somewhere on your property, fret not because that's where the spider's going to spend its whole lifespan um, until they lay eggs. And then the slings, the spiderlings, you know, well, that's another story. So there's a male right there. Okay, so I'm even more excited because I have another web over here, right behind the camera, a large one, and it's got a male in it. And I know it's not his web because of the amount of debris and stuff. In my experience, the males don't really build large webs. And at this time of year, you know, May and June, they are looking for females. They're not staying in their webs. They're mobile, going across the landscape, looking for mates in order to reproduce. If the male's lucky enough, he might fertilize more than one female before he perishes. Well, you know, obvious reasons there. Black Widow. So, yeah, I call that a great success. I mean, that's at least seven adult female Black Widow webs, um, and there's got to be hopefully a dozen more in this area. Um, that's two males at least. Um, both of which are in webs, female webs, and uh, so hopefully this population will continue throughout the years. It's away from human habitations, um, you know, except for those off-roaders down that way. No one's really going in this area and exploring and stuff. It's a little bit out of reach. You have to go through the thick stuff and brave all the ticks, which I think I have one. Nope. But, um... That's a success. I'm really excited about this. You know, um, it worked. Those, each one of those spiders hatched in my presence. And, um, you know, I released them by hand, the tiny little slings, tiny little things into this spot. But anyways, if you want to see the release video, um, there will be a link in the description or up here somewhere. And definitely check out my spider playlist. I've actually got two of them and the Black Widows are definitely in there. Um, really cool. Their mother was uh, Candles. Okay, Candles was the mom of these spiders right here. And she's the one that's the star of a lot of my videos. Um, if it's got to do with Black Widows and it was filmed last year. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. Definitely check out my playlist. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. It really helps me because that is you know, a big chunk of my income, and I do not make much because I'm disabled. But uh, this is what it's all about. Thanks a lot for watching. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.